I don't want to go anymore. I've made up my mind. I'm staying. Andrew, you've come for me. Please, take me. Listen, honey. Listen to your mother. Come back to me. The roof. I'm waiting for you. Don't you miss me? Don't you want to be together forever? But... Come to me. Mom, wait. Easy, easy. Just a bad dream. Man, you're burning up. Mm, please, don't leave me. That's it. You're okay. You're okay. Just go back to sleep. You've reached the voicemail of Peter and Lorraine Huxley. We can't answer our phone right now, so leave a message at the... Dad? It's me. I... I don't know if you're getting these messages, or... Or if you're... I love you. I miss you, and Mom... I can't let our last goodbye be... <sighs> need to break that fever. You need water. We need to eat. I'm starting to see... I'll be back. I promise. What's that smell? Penthouse suite. Beautiful view of the skyline, overlooking the park. Membership sure has its fucking privileges, alright. How can I help you, ladies? You're the one with all the <coughs> canine cocktails, right? Come on in. The pharmacy's now open. Uh-uh. Just her. You two? I can't help you. Sorry, ladies. Come back another time. So, you're a senior, aren't you? We met at the party. Let's see if I can't cure... Ugh. Take a hint already. I told you the pharmacy is... Henry wants to see you. <coughs> now. Think she can just say no like that to me? I offered her enlightenment. I could have educated her. I could have opened her mind. No. No! Nobody says no to me. Definitely not some close-minded freshman. She's... She's just a piece of fresh meat. You, uh... You wanted to see me? Oh, Louis. Hey, man. Welcome to the top. How are the new digs treating you? Good. 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 I'm glad. Not too high up, I hope. No nosebleeds on the fourth floor. You hungry? Help yourself. Uh, no, no thanks. I'm all good right now. You sure? There's enough to go around. Suit yourself. Hey, you got a minute? Something I want to show you. Ever read No Exit? Uh... You should totally check it out. Solitaire could have been writing about Pascal. Beyond that wall, there's a passage. And at the end of the passage, there's more rooms, more passages and stairs. Ring a bell? Anthony here says he doesn't dig externalism. Teach their own. Uh... As you're all right, Anthony, I gotta say, I'm really disappointed in you. Trying to escape like that? You should have come to me. I'm here to help you. So Charles, he's your roomie, right? I want you to find him. You bring him to me with the girl, and anything in this dorm is yours. Anything. Anyone. If you can't find him, well, next up in philosophy is Unchain and the Love. With you. I'm told there are some sophomores who aren't happy with the living sitch. A few juniors have been pouting away on the second floor. They're just mad they weren't invited up to the fourth. Bunch of party poopers. They just want to ruin the fun for the rest of us. Can't have that now, can we? This is our dorm. Our school. Show a little your sin pride, right? If you don't have any school spirit, you don't belong in my dorm. Time to flush out the rats from my castle. What was that? 
They're tearing the place apart. Doesn't matter if they're stuck inside or out. You turned yet? Turned? No? Good. Get behind us and help. Help? Ah! Those assholes on the 4-4 don't own us! They don't rule this dorm! Take back Pascal! Take back Pascal! Take back Pascal! Come on. Come on. Let's go. We can hide in the- Throw me? What are the odds? Ask and you shall receive. And I set up this hunting party for nothing. I figured you guys might run for a bit. At least give us the thrill of the hunt. Or just a little bit. Please? Pretty please? Back. Go back. Now. There. That's better. Dog will hunt. Don't let them get away. You can't hide from me forever. I'll find you. I'll find you! <laughs> this one's empty. Hurry! They're coming! Hey, Rumi! Where are you? We just gotta be quiet. <coughs> Don't make us Come uh... out, come out, wherever you are! Charlie, I know we've had our differences in the past, but... All Henry really wants is the girl. You give her to me, and I think we can work something out. A trade! Come on, man. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. Going once, twice. They're gone. We're safe. No, we're not. It's... It's too late for us. Any of us, don't you see? We're getting worse. We're becoming just like those... those... No. No. Listen. Listen to me. We just gotta ride this out. Like the guy said. Hide and wait. Burn the bug out. So... What's your major? Are you serious? Sure. <coughs> Got some time on our hands. Why not? I don't know. That's BS. Tell me. Bacteriology? Medical microbiology? Religious studies? I... I wanted to write. I thought I might... might take a creative writing class. Bet you could write one hell of a book about all this. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a big bestseller. You're in it, too. You're the hero. What about you? <coughs> what are you gonna be when you grow up? My dad wanted me to be a communications major, get a degree in business, but I don't know. I'd signed up for an advocacy course without telling him. I was thinking I might do something like social policy, community advocacy. Let's make sure we become those things, if we make it out of here. Sounds like a plan. There's something, something I need to say. I'm, I'm gay. Charles, I know. You don't have to tell. Oh, that's not it. Sometimes, sometimes you just need to say the words. I needed to say it. Out loud. To somebody. I needed somebody to know. Really know. Just in case we never... What was that? I... I don't know. It came from... There. Looks like she tried killing herself. What are you doing? Don't touch. She needs our help. She needs... Ah! Itches. Itches. Itchy, itchy. Ah. <laughs> She's gone. She was turning into one of those... Those spitter things, wasn't she? I don't know. This looks different. What if... What if there's like a next step? Like... Like a... Something not in the pamphlets. Something nobody's seen. Like a fourth face. Don't let me turn into... That. Promise me. I don't want to become... Just rest. You can take turns. You go first. I'll keep watch. Okay. 
Wake me if you... you... What if the virus changes you? What if it turns you into something else? What if we... <laughs> happening to me. I, I'm seeing things. <laughs> I'm getting worse. We need to get out of- ah. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> we gotta get out of <coughs> here. There. <coughs> Smoking us out? They're gonna burn the whole dorm down. Dude, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. No more classes. <coughs> no more books. No more teachers' dirty looks. I can't do this! I'm your roommate! Get me out! 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 Where do we go now? <coughs> Downstairs? No, the ground floor is- <gasps> We have to go up. Everybody must be upstairs. We can't hide on the third- <coughs> What's wrong? No! Gotcha! We gotcha! <laughs> no! Please! Party! Party! We at Yerson understand how difficult it can be for freshmen to make new friends. Just remember, always be yourself. Let your personality shine. Think of your dormitory as common ground for future friendships. It is filled with other incoming students going through the same experience as you. If you are homesick, chances are there is someone else who feels the same way. If you ever feel overwhelmed, there is always somebody you can talk to about it. You are never truly alone at Yerson University. We are all in this together. Glad you guys could make it.